everyone, I am Astha Rena. Today I'm going to walk you through SNAP's data scientist interview process. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the following. What the interview process looks like. What are the interviewers looking for? And some tips and tricks on how to prepare yourself for this interview. Here's a quick introduction to Prepfully. Prepfully offers anonymous mock interviews with someone who has worked in your target company and role alongside other prep services, recorded interviews, interview questions, guides and peer practice that helps you compare where you stand against other candidates. In this context, we've got SNAP's data scientists who help candidates with mocks and advice for preparing and cracking this interview. In addition, we have put together relevant content on the same. Moving on to SNAP's data scientist interview. In a nutshell, there are four rounds to SNAP data scientist interview. The first round will be the resume screening. The second round will be with a recruiter or a hiring manager. The third round will be a technical screen with a data scientist and the last round will consist of on-site interviews. Through these rounds, the interviewers evaluate your ability to analyze and build interpretive models that handle huge quantities and data variations. Let's talk about round one first. The first step to SNAP is the resume screening. First, recruiters will review your resume and assess if your experience matches the open position. This is the most competitive step in the process as a lot of candidates do not make it past the stage. So take extra care to tailor your resume to the specific position you're applying to. A simple but efficient way of doing this is to ensure your resume has good coverage of the skills that the hiring manager or recruiter have outlined in the job description. If you think advice from a SNAP recruiter could help on this front, there are several available on Prepfully who can help with resume reviews. Let's now talk about the second round. It will involve a phone call from the hiring manager covering your resume. The interviewer tries to understand your technical background and past relevant projects and experiences. The discussion will involve the team and work culture of SNAP. Ensure that your resume is updated, mentioning all your skills and valuable experiences significant to the role you're applying for and your achievements in those roles. Some technical knowledge and experience that SNAP expects in the phone round are knowledge of casual interference techniques, experimental designs and A-B testing. Skills in SQL or other big data querying languages and a big programming language such as Python or R, ability to create visuals and dashboards in business intelligent tools, example Looker, Tableau, Power BI, Google Data Studio, behavioral and motivational justifications for why Snap is a good fit for you and why you would be a good fit for Snap. Now, the third round is technical, usually a 45 to 60 minute video call with a data scientist. It is mostly analytics and statistics focused. The interviewer tries to understand your approach to problem solving and handling large scale machine learning problems. They are open ended and revolve around SQL, Python programming, A-B testing, finding daily active users and formulating your over user growth. We have two recommendations for this round. Brush up on your technical skills. Of course, it's important to prepare for quite a wide range of these given topics that I have mentioned earlier. You need to ensure that you give fast, crisp answers since your interviewer will want to cover quite a lot of ground to get signals across a range of technical concepts. Secondly, we would recommend pre-gathering a lot of information specific to SNAP and its features and also thinking about your take on how you could improve their products and then test improvements for impact. Given its positioning as both a camera company and a social media platform that competes with Meta and the like, you might want to prepare an answer to how it can compete with other major social media platforms. And here are a few tips to help you prepare for this round.
The first tip will be to reverse and strengthen your fundamentals of product design, Python and SQL. Secondly, thoroughly reviewing the company's profile before applying is always good practice. So you have a basic idea of the most important technical skills. Lastly, while thinking about your answers, try not to be completely silent. Don't take too many pauses, too long. We'd recommend thinking out loud so the interviewer can course correct you if necessary. Lastly, the final round is an on-site interview round of five interviews on machine learning, statistics and cultural fit. This is the most intensive interview process, including project discussions with team managers and SNAPS data scientists. Case studies and statistical discussions included. The first round involves machine learning concepts. This round often includes questions related to word embedding, how to make a good balance of exploitation and exploration for the user feeds, creating a multi-classifier using only a binary classifier and questions similar to this. The second round is also related to the concepts of machine learning. In this round, you will be asked more ML questions. Some candidates reported being asked to derive a logistic regression formula. Others had questions around loss functions and solver, gradient descent, etc. The third involves the leadership and behavioral questions. In this round, the interviewer will try to understand your reasons for leaving your current job and joining SNAP. Your ability to function and work frictionlessly with other people in a team is one of the most fundamental needs of any company. A lot of candidates underinvest in prepping for this round since they assume it's easy to talk about motivations and past work. And this is a key reason for failure. Your interviewers are trying to assess if you are able to be concise and efficient in communicating your stories, but also if they align with what SNAP values in its employees. The fourth involves statistics. This round is a highly technical round. For instance, a candidate was asked questions related to the Bayes formula and posterior probability calculation. The last is the data analytics assessment. This is a coding assessment to test whether you can efficiently create a program for SNAP or not. You will be given a data set with A-B testing results, compare two experiment results, compute the statistics and run a two-sample t-test using Python, NumPy or Pandas. So here are a few tips on how to prepare for this round. The first tip is the scalability and availability are the most critical considerations for SNAP. Every decision impacts millions of people. So they want to see a lot of robustness in your methodology. They also want to see your solution scale to that level. And therefore, if you see opportunities for plugging your knowledge into these domains, take these and highlight it. The second tip is to always use specific machine learning components to discuss long-term goals, improvements and scaling. Also, utilize the time they give you at the end of each interview to ask any questions you have. What questions you ask will demonstrate your engagement with the content and present you as a driven employee. So be sure to prepare a list of insightful questions for each round. The last piece of advice is to get some actual practice with those you know, whether they be friends, co-workers, fellow applicants, or best of all, SNAP's data scientists themselves. Find out what others think of your anecdotes and whether or not you're succeeding in conveying key takeaways. Ask if you're addressing SNAP's needs. It would be fantastic if you knew anybody at SNAP. If you don't seek assistance from SNAP data scientists on LinkedIn, LinkedIn. That's all from us. Once you feel ready for some practice or just want a sense check of your preparation level, you can book an anonymous mock interview with a data scientist from Snap on Prepfully. There's a link in the description below. In addition, you can check out our in-depth written guides, which will get updated constantly as to any changes made in the hiring process. Finally, if you have follow-up questions about the interview, ask in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck to you. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. 
Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.